Hello, welcome to the Sunday Chat. I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and this is my chance to catch up with you, or for you to catch up with me, I suppose, on all things Bald Explorer. Um, it's the 17th of October 2021, and I'm recording today's Sunday Chat from my kitchen. Um, as ever, I've got uh, a load of uh, bits and bobs to go through and have a chat with you. But first of all, let me just say a big thank you to Anne and David Chester, who sent me a very lovely letter. Um, they're based in um, Bognor Regis, and uh, they're very thrilled with uh, the videos, and they said things like they wanted to thank me for the videos, and they've sent a donation, which was superb. Um, wishing, obviously, that I'm glad to see that I'm survived from the Nora virus and that hopefully Julia and Joe have and, and all of that. So thank you very much for sending that personal note. That was um, very lovely. And yes, regarding the uh, Noro virus, I keep having to remember how to say it. I don't know why it's stuck in the head in such a strange way. Um, completely recovered, as you will have seen from recent videos. Um, it's amazing how, you know, I very rarely get ill and if I do get ill I just get a sort of a nose thing um, and that one did wipe me out and I can't think that I've ever had anything like that since I was a kid, to be honest with you. Um, so, just goes to show we're all mortal, doesn't it? <laughs> we're all fallible to these things, we just have to be a bit careful. So, yeah, definitely recovered. And thank you to everybody who sent in well wishes, um, messages and of um, Get Better and, and all of that. Really, really appreciate that. Um, it's very kind of you. It's nice to know that you're out there and th that you care, I suppose. Um, so I also want to thank you uh, for the feedback that I got for the recent history video. Um, the 1066 and the Battle of Hastings and stuff. I was very nervous about that video. I worked on it, I had done the research and I was thinking, how do you tell a well-known story? And I thought, well, the only way I could do it really um, for somebody who has an interest in history, but I'm no historian by any means. I haven't studied officially, I have no degrees, I just went to a... Um, a 1970s comprehensive school uh, back um, in Horsham where I lived and so I have no real no qualifications other than an enthusiasm for history which I hope comes across but I make mistakes plenty of them and when you do something like this on YouTube and you put stuff out and there is no producer other than yourself to do the checks and make sure you've not said the wrong thing, had a slip of the tongue and not noticed it um, and sometimes I catch them and you'll see you know the, uh, the the captions come up in the edit I go oh did I say Edward the first I meant Edward the confessor fool fool um, and there's only me so uh, so thank you um, for bearing with me on that. And I figured the only way I could do it, really, was to try and domesticate it as part of my everyday thing. And I think I will experiment with that. Maybe the next one I'll be on a walk. Uh, as somebody suggested, you know, place yourself in front of Norman constructions like castles or, or big churches or something like that. Of course... Um, it does depend on what's available and where I am and, and all of that, but it's a, you know, it's a good idea to give um, some sense of where it is. But I can't go, to, due to time and money, uh, to the various places that certain things happened, because, you know, unless you're actually earning a, a decent wage from it in which the budget permits and you've got permission to go to all these places and, and da de da de da it's just not possible. But... I appreciate the thought. Uh, so I will persevere with some of these, um, the history thing, and look at not only the kings and queens and, and the events of history, but other things that happened, and also the time period and what it was like, as best as I can. And I know people will criticise, um, and others will just, you know, take it. If I can... if. All I do is whet the appetite of someone to find some extra reading and learn more about it, then that's, you know, that's brilliant. Uh, I'm not an educator. The other thing I wanted to say is 
Um, another thank you to the video that's gone out. And now I'm recording this on the Saturday for the Sunday, so I shall upload this in UK time. Uh, but I'm recording this on the Saturday, and uh, the Saturday is the day that my video about uh, going to Compton, a lovely village on the Sussex border, um, between Sussex and Hampshire, just, um, I suppose, I don't know how many miles, 10 miles is it from Chichester, something like that, um, northwards on the, on the Sussex border, as I say. People, ha uh, it's only been out, and at the time of recording this, there's been about 700 views of it, and quite a lot of comments. And the comments, most of them, have been, oh, Richard, great to see you back on the Sussex border, one of your best, uh, really enjoy this series, I uh, hope you can do more, blah, 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 blah. And that's lovely, uh, uh, but it's also a double-edged sword. And I tell you why, um, and I'm certainly not knocking and, and not grateful for the feedback because I really, really am, because that's what encourages me to go on. It's just that when everyone says things like, oh, uh, it's the best and we really like you doing this, it's almost as if the understatement uh, between the lines is don't bother with everything else, just do the Sussex border walk. And if that was the case, I just wouldn't be able to do it um, or there would be great gaps. The things that make those videos, for me, work and are worthwhile to do is a number of things that have to be in position. One, um, I need good weather. It needs to be generally a day, if I'm going into a village, that's going to be not a very busy day in the village so that I can spend time without people in the way challenging A, what I'm doing, B, putting me off because it's only me and I'm setting up the camera and moving away and coming back and doing all that. It's not like there's a cameraman with me. Um, and so if I leave the camera on one side of the road and run up the road a bit, I want to make sure the camera is still there. It's not being knocked over by a, a bus or people or other walkers or what have you. Um, so weather is important and whether it's a, a day of the week. Uh, and also I, that I've got time to not only film that, but get back and then edit it, do the voiceover and everything else. So um, I just can't do them all the time. I, and I, I like the freedom uh, to do other things so that when I do those, I'm focused on that. If I did them all the time, I think they would become dull and um, very routine. And that's what makes them special to me. But you may disagree. You may just say, well, I'm not going to watch the rest of your <laughs> rubbish. That's entirely up to you. Um, but I appreciate that you've enjoyed it. And I am hoping to do, obviously, I'm going to do more. Uh, and each one, I'm working out how to do it. Each one, because each one is unique, because some villages have very little in them. And then it may be that I scout across to another village and, and you ca cover two places. It may not be that there are villages on this section of the Sussex border that I'm, that I'm interested in. It may be that I'm much more interested in um, the landscape and just want to walk across uh, style and uh, land, fly the drone. So each one is going to be different and I can't guarantee there all, all the villages are going to look as beautiful and as lovely or that the colours are going to look fantastic or that the leaves are going to fall at the right time. So sometimes things just fall into position. That's really all I'm saying. But I appreciate uh, very much the comments and thank you for the feedback. Um, I've got a walk coming up uh, this week coming with uh, Ricky. Do you remember Ricky? He is the guy who uh, has a, a thing about coasters. That will remind you. He's also got a van. He's a very lovely bloke. And we've got a walk coming up. Hopefully, that will be a bit of fun. Um, <clears throat> I think Ricky has a mischievous um, uh, way of doing things. And, um, I, I, and I like that. And I, w I want to sort of bring a bit of amusement into what I do, as well as some of the more just pastoral things. So uh, watch out for that one. Also, I want to remind you, of course, that we have the Sussex, sorry, we not the Sussex Border Walk, we have the Bald Explorer Walking Groups Walk, which is coming up on the 30th of October this month. We had to postpone it 
from uh, uh, last month because um, I think I would. That's right. I was in uh, this this ten day quarantine for. Uh, I was locked up basically in house arrest for being in a room with somebody who'd tested positive. It turns out that none of them had it, and uh, they were all free. But I for some reason, still had to go through this 10-day period. Well, we know all the reasons why all of that is, but let's not get into the politics of that at the moment. Um, anyway, I couldn't do it. We postponed it for the following week. The, the rain came along and made it atrocious, so we postponed it to the end of the month. It's in Ditchling, Ditchling Common. Uh, the details are on the Facebook group, uh, 10.30 for an 11 o'clock start at Ditchling Common Car Park. So if you want to come along, uh, it's potluck on the parking, so it's up to you, but you know, there is plenty of parking there. Bring a packed lunch, unless the weather is atrocious or whatever, um, we aim to do it. But I'll, if there's any reason to cancel, I will make sure that the day before we post uh, the fact that we're going to cancel it on the Bald Explorer walking group. So if you're not a member of that, do do check that out. It's free. It's just it says it's a private group, but you just apply to join, and you know there's no reason why you wouldn't be accepted. So that's kind of it. It's a bit of a short one today. Um, fi uh, the only other thing I wanted to say that I've got on my list here is um, I've been approached. Sometimes this happens. I've been approached by a company who would like me to try out their product. Now I don't go out of my way to do this sort of thing, and sometimes they approach me sometimes I do and then sometimes I think well it's this is not really relevant to me um, a, a couple of people have sent me some um, gimbals and things for phones well I don't use a phone you see which is why they these reviews have just not turned up on my channel um, but uh, and I did you know had every intention of doing it but I was busy making my normal videos so that hasn't happened but I I've still got this gear so I probably will do one about the whole lot. Anyway, this one, a bit more relevant. Uh, this is a firm that makes strip lighting, uh, not strip lighting as in, you know, strip lights in the kitchen. I mean, a, 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 like a hose, like a, a load of LEDs on a, on a cable. I don't know what it's actually called, but we'll find out. Um, and it's 12 volts, and they thought that I could try it out in my van. Well, that's very nice of them. So they're going to send me, hopefully they're going to send me this, and they said I can keep it. Uh, presumably I've got to give a reasonable review about it. Well, I will be honest, um, I don't know how much it is, I don't know where you buy it from and all of that, all of that will come. But I do need to put lighting into the van. You've seen the sort of gash uh, layout in my van so I do need to do something so it's very kind of this company to approach me and say well if you can make a video about it so but it's a portable thing it go, it winds up on a like a like a hose or like an electric cable you can wind it up so you can use it in all sorts of different environments and I thought actually that's quite useful because depending on its length I could have it in the van as a semi-permanent feature but I could also uh, maybe use the same one or get a similar one or another one um, it would be great if you're camping out and you could actually I haven't yet got a canopy or an awning thing that comes out from the van but I would like to make something but you could have something like that 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 oops sorry that comes out or goes temporarily on the, the side of the van you just <laughs> stick it on with a couple of magnets and you've got a little bit of outboard outdoor lighting. So as soon as it comes, I'm going to review it because I think it will be of interest to other people who, like me, are thinking or are doing up their van. So I'll bring that to you um, when it happens. Um, and just to say, if there's any other companies out there, now this, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm wringing my hands here, if there are any other companies who think that there are products which, which work within my channel, then do get in touch. If I don't think it's going to be the thing for me, I will say no. Somebody got in touch with some running shoes oh, a year or so ago. They were uh, clearly not what I do and ultimately said, well, you can keep the shoes. And th they were not very nice shoes, but I'm not a runner. And I thought there's no point me um, trying to promote things for other people through the channel if I don't actually believe in it. And so... 
I said no. But there may be other bits and bobs that come along which would be workable within the channel. I don't want to turn into a review channel, but every now and again, if something comes in that I think is going to be useful to me in order to make the videos or as part of the videos, then I'm open to suggestion. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy what I do and would like me to do more of the Sussex border stuff and all of that, and you, you would like to tip a little money my way as, a, as I busk on the internet here, um, I would be very grateful. Do go to baldexplorer.com. Obviously, all of this costs money and um, you don't get a huge amount back from the advertising that goes on the front and back of these adver of these videos and I don't put loads in so uh, anything you can afford would be great um, but if you can't then don't worry just enjoy the videos give me a thumbs up s subscribe leave a comment all that engagement is fantastic as well and I will do my best to continue to make the videos anyway have a good weekend or a Sunday and I'll see you out and about. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye.